Hello, this is some very exciting stuff today. Stay tuned till after the unboxing because I am going to be showcasing what my MacBook is doing. What we've all been waiting for. This is the M1 Mac. Seriously though guys, I'm very pumped about this. So pumped that I'm willing to test out 8K footage. That's what you're seeing this on right now on my R5 and I've got the R on 4K which is notoriously large but the 8K is what I really want to see on this. But I've been waiting for honestly about two, three, four years. I haven't had a MacBook in a minute and I am sorry Louie. Louie is my computer guy. I will still use my Windows computer, I promise, but I need to be mobile and I just love Apple products. So let's hop in guys. Let's see what you're getting in the box. Are you ready? I hope y'all like the yoga I'm making this mic do. This looks no, we gotta see what the accessories are first, of course. Designed by Apple in California. Are we getting a sticker? Two stickers. This is probably gonna be the thumbnail. Ooh. Okay. Braided cable. I'm very happy they brought back MagSafe. My first MacBook and my only MacBook actually had MagSafe. Yeah, it's got to be ripped eventually. This is how I am with Christmas presents. Too delicate. They always want me to just rip it open. Solid block. All right, let's let's actually turn on this bad boy. Nice box though. It's a little hefty, I will say that, but I had to go for a 16 inch. You know, go big or go home. Just overall, it feels solid. And this, this is for every Apple device. It's gotta be properly weighted. There was a little bit of slide there. Oh, wow. It's like wrapping paper, it's a present, okay. Hello. So that is the unboxing. You see, I actually have four displays running. One of them is my iPad, and I'm using about 38 gigabytes right now. And it's streaming on 8K footage. I'm on Lightroom, editing a photo. I'm on Photoshop. Not that I would ever do all this at once, but just to prove the point of how powerful this new Mac M1 Max is, it's absolutely incredible. And I definitely thank Apple for creating something just so powerful for creators like us. I've got about five, six applications on. So this thing is a multitask beast. So if that's something you do, I definitely recommend this. I'm really happy with Apple on this one. It was actually supposed to come early December, then the day changed to say November, I think 15th or 16th. But anyway, it then says November 9th. It's in Alaska on the 3rd, and then on the 4th, it's somehow at my house. So I don't know what kind of sorcery they have or what kind of cars they're driving, but it got here super, super quick. And I'm really excited at honestly the size. I thought it would be super big, but I think it it's the perfect size. Who else out 
there has a peak design 20 liter. I know you're wondering, does this fit? It says it holds a 15 inch. This is a 16.2. There is no case on it, mostly because I can't find a case. I really hope this fits. This is something great to have on the road, always with you, and I'm, I'm just really astonished. I don't know how or why I would ever need four displays, but I have that option if I want it. Now, I went ahead and went for the 64 gigabyte version. I didn't go straight to eight terabytes. I only went for two. I think that'll hold me off and keep me accountable to kind of offload stuff onto hard drives. I prefer to have stuff in multiple places anyway, so I'm really happy. I went fully spec'd out, except for the storage, but take that as you will. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. Now, I'm really excited to see what editing is gonna be like on this. I don't have Final Cut yet. To use yet. English as the main language, press the return key. Okay. Apparently you can have like seven different streams of it going at once. We'll start off with Premiere Pro because I know that's what most of you people are Mac using. macOS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. Yeah, I'll If turn you would like to off. learn how to use Voice. Like it happened, guys. Mid-editing. I was I was just at the end. But it does look like my Premiere Pro froze a little bit. I mean, this is notorious for Premiere Pro though. I use, you know, DaVinci Resolve. Here's the webcam and built-in audio. So take that as you will. Anyway, I'm trying to get this edit done. I really am. And in the midst of it, I really keep having Premiere Pro freeze on me for some reason. I'm not sure why this is the third, fourth time that it's froze on me already. I don't know if it's because of all the 8K footage or maybe I just suck at using Premiere Pro now and it's not optimized. Sorry for all these notifications, group chat. There's a good chance that the end of this video is actually done in DaVinci Resolve. This goes to show that not every product is rainbows and sunshine. <laughs> Honestly, using the SD card reader was so convenient. Now for my R5, I still have to use a certain reader for that, but I actually did try using the EOS utility app like I've shown in a prior video. It's not fast enough for me. I really recommend the Angel Bird CFast reader. It's the fastest I kind of found, but there might be some faster options out there. Now for storage, I do plan on just getting an external SSD it looks like Lossy Rugged is some of the fastest. They're very expensive, but like I said, I like to have stuff in multiple places. So that's what I'm looking at for the future. Really though, guys, if y'all go for the Mac M1X, you won't be dissatisfied. It is worth the money in my opinion. I had been saving for so long. You can also get 0% financing, I've heard. So for 12 months, that's pretty good. I personally don't like having that payment but there is that option i know what y'all are wondering what the hell is that setup i will do an office video soon if that's something y'all are looking towards i know a couple people have said it but is it worth me spending hours on a video because i'm gonna be very meticulous i always am but stay tuned for more content on tech adventure if you enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe, that really does mean a lot. I don't normally wear a prescription. This is not a prescription. This is just normal glasses. I don't normally wear glasses, but these are for blue light. I'm really trying to look on my health. I could have a slim case, slim case, not big case, slim case. Oh yeah.